Good morning or afternoon or evening. Welcome to Sunday School Recorded Style for Sunday, January 29th, 2023. My name is Carolyn Hayes. I'm the Director of Children and Young Families at Gaithersburg Presbyterian Church and welcome to Sunday School. This is the second week in our Make Peace study and this week we're we're going to consider a different part of inner peace. Um, I'm just going to leave it there. We're going to pray and then we're going to get started. Gracious and loving Lord, thank you for today. Thank you for time spent studying you and your word and your word in the world. Help us to open our hearts, open our minds, open our ears, and open our eyes to you and to your word. Help us to really understand the lessons that you have for us. Help us to hear how to apply them to our lives so that we can grow into being people that you put us here to be. Please bless this study and us to thy service. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So I'm going to start off by sharing my screen. Oh, hot diggity. It looks like it's going to work today. Share. Oh, yay. Okay. And slideshow. There we go. Okay. Now, give me just one more second, pretty please. You may or may not recognize this guy. This guy is Atlas. And Atlas's job in Greek mythology was to hold up the world. It's not a job many people would want at all because he had to do it or the world was going to fall into oblivion. Um, now, you probably have heard about this guy, Tigger. Um, Tigger is a lot of fun and Tigger just bounces into stuff without really giving it any thought or consideration whatsoever. For instance, um, when Tigger first, when Tigger and Pooh first met, um, Pooh said, well, do Tiggers like honey? And Tigger said, honey is what Tiggers love the best. And Tigger stuck his paw into the honey pot. He stuck his whole entire big old Tigger paw into the honey pot, pulled that big old Tigger paw back out and stuck his whole paw in his mouth, only to realize that Tiggers don't like honey. He never had it before. He hadn't just, he didn't just try a taste. He went all in. That's very, very much like Tigger. Well, being... A person is kind of like being between those two things, being like being in between these two great big giant rocks. Most of the time, most of us tigger along doing stuff. We we just bump into stuff. There are a fair number of us who also a lot of times feel like we are carrying the weight of the world. Like we we take on responsibility that isn't ours. Like if the school bus was late, was it really and truly your fault or do you just feel like it was? Probably it wasn't your fault. Probably it had very little to do with you. But sometimes we all feel guilty about things or we feel responsible for stuff that we have nothing to do with. Um, the thing is, Jesus was very, very good about taking time to stop to reflect, to talk to God about stuff before he did stuff. We are not so good about this kind of thing. We're just not. When you get a little older and you take first aid training, one of the things that they will tell you in first aid training is that you need to, before you run and start helping somebody with all this great new training that you've had, you need to stop. You need to look at what the situation is. Really look at it. You need to listen. For instance, 
if you can hear somebody breathing and you can see their chest going up and down, you don't need to do CPR. They're breathing just fine. CPR is not going to help them. You need to stop, look, listen, and think about what you can do to help, including nothing. So what is the lesson for us? Being a peacemaker means not flying into situations like Tigger. It means absolutely not flying into the, a situation like the Tasmanian devil. Being a peacemaker means looking carefully at a situation, stopping, thinking, considering, praying, wondering what Jesus would do, and, and asking God for strength, for guidance, for help, and for perseverance. Jesus would step away from crowds to experience God's peace. May we take a step back to find peace within ourselves. Let us be people who try to live as makers of peace. Amen. Now, you may or may not remember, but we are right now reading Mark's version of Jesus' life. And Mark kind of, Mark's kind of tigger, like he goes from thing to thing to thing to thing, to thing very quickly. Um, some of the other guys get into a lot more detail. Mark does not. But one of the things that Mark does in the first, let me look really quick. In the first three chapters of his story, Mark says one, two, three, four different times that Jesus went away to pray. The first time was right after he was baptized. He went into the desert to pray for 40 days and 40 nights. For 40 nights. Remember, he was there in the wilderness. He didn't eat, didn't drink. He just spent a lot of time talking to God. The next time is still in the first chapter. And um, he's just starting to call the uh, some of the disciples. And it says in verse 35, very early the next morning, he got up and went out. He went away to a lonely spot and remained there in pray, prayer. Then we get into, we're new. We've just gotten into chapter two. In chapter two, um, it says, once more, he went away to the lakeside, which I think is code for he went to be quiet and by himself. It didn't last long. The crowd came and found him and interrupted him. But. He tried to get away and just to spend some quiet time talking to God. Um, and then a little, a couple of verses later in verse seven, it says again, Jesus went away to the lakeside with his disciples. And Jesus spent a lot of time. taking himself away, helping himself have time to quiet himself so that he could hear God. It's a hard thing to do in the world that we live in right now. And it's, it's not the way the world works. The way the world works, you're, you're, you're on your phone, you're talking, you're texting, you're talking to somebody who's right there with you. Maybe you're on the phone too. And for heaven's sakes, you're probably watching television. Um, but it's hard to hear God when you're, it's hard to hear God when you're so involved. I think you can hear God very well when you're moving. I think some of us hear God better when we're moving. Because it helps us to slow the rest of our minds down, or the rest of our mind down. But 
it's hard to do it if you're talking to somebody. It's hard to do it if you're if you're focused on something on your phone. Um, and it's hard to be. It's hard to leak peace out on people if you are so busy that you can't focus. And that's one of the things that that, that inner peace will help you do. It will help you be focused and you can be focused on the person right in front of you. And sometimes that's the best thing on earth you can do to be a peacemaker is to just be absolutely fully paying attention to the person you're talking to. Again, that doesn't happen a lot in 2023. People are always distracted. And when, when you have someone's undivided attention, even for just a couple of minutes, it's, it's a real gift. Um, and you can learn a lot about someone when you really, really pay attention to them. So, um, we talked last week about the breath prayer, about breathing in a peaceful color and saying to yourself, I breathe in God's love and I breathe out worry. I breathe in God's love and out worry. And I want you to encourage, I want you to, I want to encourage you. That's the right way to say it. I want to encourage you to do that. When you start to feel your inside starting to buzz a little bit, um, so that you can be peaceful, so that you can be fully there for someone when they want to talk to you. Um, so that you can see a situation for what it really is and be helpful or know that it is not your time to be helpful, that somebody else needs to be helpful now. Sometimes it happens both ways. So I hope you had a great week. I hope you have a great week coming up. I hope you and your families are staying well and staying safe. Um, and I look forward to seeing you when I can. Um, we're going to say the Lord's Prayer, and that'll be that. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Um, go in peace and may God be with you in all things. <laughs>